All right, we're going to make one more video of the drag saw, sawing a log. I've been taking practice cuts. Uh, I put a much coarser tooth blade on than in the previous video, and I've added a few lightning holes for cosmetic purposes in the arm that operates the dog clutch. And uh, I put a retraction spring on that clutch handle to make it stay disengaged. And I think it's running faster now. You'll have to be the judge of that. And here we go. If I don't hold that dog clutch in position, it will jump out. So I'm just holding it in position with my fingers here at the moment. <clears throat> that piece of log being sawed is a three inch diameter spruce that was growing out at the back of my lot. And I think it's been dead for the last year, so it's not green spruce by any means. After this project is finished, I'm going to put a bit of time into designing a friction clutch which is different than the dog clutch in which will stay engaged, won't leap out of engagement when I'm not expecting it to. And as you can see that aggressive blade is cutting through the log much faster at the moment. The last time I made a video I thought I might die of old age before the saw got all the way through. But things seem to be much better here today. I looked around and tried to find a softer piece of wood, but I wasn't successful. There isn't anything really handily available that's softer than dry spruce anyway. And this tree had been dead for the last year, I knew that. But we're making our way through there in good style now. The theory on this stuff tells me that the blade only cuts when it's pulling towards the engine. But what I'm seeing is a bigger pile of sawdust on the side opposite, away from the engine. There we are. So I've disengaged the dark clutch and I've shut off the engine. So now we've seen the drag saw cut a log the way it was intended to. It's been a fun project and thank you all for having a look.